Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics Concepts for Sound and Vibrating Air. You can think of sound as actually vibrating air. So if we consider a speaker, for example, and we have some electrical signal coming into the speaker, the speaker acts as a transducer, and it will convert that signal into a different type of signal. By vibrating the surface, it will cause vibrations in the molecules of the air at a particular set of frequencies, and it will generate sound. So this wave of sound propagating in this direction can be described as C is equal to the wavelength times the frequency of this vibration. And in a given medium, say air, at a temperature of approximately 20 degrees, if the air is dry, the speed of sound will approximately be equal to 300 and 43 meters per second. So definitely much slower than the speed of light, which is why you hear thunder, uh, which is why you see lightning before you hear the thunder. So the sound wave is what's called a longitudinal or compressional wave. And this is different than a transverse wave because the direction of propagation of the wave is in the same direction that the medium moves. So, the speed of the sound is more generally given as the square root of the bulk modulus k divided by the density of the medium. So this bulk modulus is a number that characterizes how stiff the material is. So the more stiff the material is, the greater the speed of sound through that material. And likewise, if the density is very low, then the speed of the sound will also increase. Finally, another concept that is useful to understand in acoustics is the acoustic intensity. And the acoustic intensity is given by the equation I is equal to P times V. So this V here is the velocity of the sound wave. So it's the speed of the sound, but it also has direction, which is why it's a vector quantity. So that makes the intensity a vector quantity as well. This is not rho, but rather P for pressure, which is equal to the force that the sound wave exerts over some area. Therefore, the units of the acoustic intensity is in watts per meter squared, or power per some unit area. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics Concepts of Sound and Vibrating Air. Thank you.